Welcome to Remote Classroom. My name is Teacher Angie, and today I am going to read a story about the legend of the Bitter Gourd. A long time ago, all kinds of vegetables lived in the town of Sariwa. You can see radish and mustard chasing each other. Garlic, onion, bottle gourd, and silk squash are also playing block and catch. Turnip, eggplant, and ginger are playing hide and seek, while tomato and pumpkin are playing jump over the cow. One day, a strange vegetable sprouted. She is bitter gourd. Her skin color is very pale, and she is really lacking in any taste. She is envious of other vegetables. She became irritable and hot-headed. She shouts at all the vegetables that approach her. Don't come near me! I don't need you! Get away! Because of this, all the vegetables in the town of Sariwa stayed away from her. One sultry night, she wanted to have the taste, color, and beauty like other vegetables. So while the other vegetables were fast asleep, she carried out her despicable plan. Slowly, she crawled closer to the vegetables slipping soundly. She grabbed the sweetness of pumpkin. She also took away the sourness of tomato, as well as the spice of ginger, and put everything in her bag. She also saw radish's whiteness hanging from the window. She immediately reached for it, and took it away. She also stole eggplant's purple skin and mustard's green cheek. She also smuggled turnip's crunchiness, the thin skin of onion, the silky complexion of tomato, and even the roughness of silk squash. Ha 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 ha! Finally, I already have all the flavor, color, and beauty. I'm sure all the vegetables will envy me, said the bitter gourd to herself. The next day, news of the robbery spread. All the vegetables were gathered. Everyone's eyes widened when an unexpected visitor suddenly arrived. A foreign vegetable. She has different skin colors and can even have different tastes. What a wonderful vegetable indeed! But Tomato doubted the visitor's presence and appearance. So in the evening, he gathered his fellow vegetables and followed the foreign vegetable to her arbor. They can see the foreign vegetable facing the mirror while one by one stripping the flavors, colors, and beauty from her body. They were surprised when a pale vegetable appeared in front of them, the angry bitter gourd. Bitter gourd was indicted in front of the green, fresh, healthy vegetable court. All the vegetables in the town of Sariwa came to trial. The fairies of the sun, earth, water, and wind were also there as judges. The vegetable has never been created that possesses all the flavors, colors, and beauty of nature, cry of the sun fairy. 
you have been convicted against the law of vegetables and the law of nature, whispered the earth fairy. Bitter gourd, you will be punished, yawned the water fairy. As punishment, all the flavor, color, and beauty you stole from the vegetables with you will be yours, the wind fairy whispered. Is that a punishment? What kind of punishment is that? She said furiously. After the trial, the fairies promised to return the flavors, colors, and beauty of the vegetables stolen by her. And that night, something amazing happened to Bitter Gourd. All oh, the flavors, colors, and beauty that she stole inside her body quarreled. When white, green, purple, yellow, and other colors clashed, dark green stained her skin. When the smoothness and roughness tweaked, her wrinkles came out. And when the sweetness, the sourness, and the spiciness cried out, the bitterness appeared. Since then, Bitter Gourd's color has turned dark green. Her skin had become wrinkled and her taste became bitter. Today, even though the Bitter Gourd is a nutritious vegetable, many do not like her. But you know, Bitter Gourd has repented. The next time you see her on your plate, try to taste her and forgive her sins. The end. All right. Well, that was a very good story, right? So what did we learn from this story? So the moral of the story is never envy others. We all have our own beauty and characteristics. We should love ourselves. We should love who we are and what we are. Okay? Well, thank you very much for listening to this story. Again, my name is Teacher Angie. And to learn more about our online events and classes, please like and follow Remote Classroom on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Please complete the sign up form to join our free storytelling class and get a free copy of our digital books. All right, we'll see you inside the classroom.